Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in our Let's Play series. And today I'm here mossing around. I don't know. Yeah, we are still mining this area here. But now that we passed the 1 million deep slate, I'm using moss. And we are at level negative 35. I think I'm gonna go about to negative 40 or something like that. So it's almost there. Certainly in next episode uh, we will be done with this. But on today's episode we're gonna do a farm for a mob that is not very often that uh, you see a farm for it. And of course I'm talking about the bat that's behind me. Oh, I need another portal. Okay, now we can see. Yeah, we're gonna farm bats. And you might be thinking, but dog, why do you want to farm bats? Bats don't drop anything, not even XP. Oh, you are so wrong. Bats do drop something. Let's go to another place to show you, because here there is a lot of spawners that I don't want to lose. So I will show you how bats do drop something. Aha, uh -huh, here we are in another cave, and there is a bat here. Will this bat drop something? Sure. All we need to do is kill this bat with a wither. Oh, wait. I might want to use a chest plate for this. That might be a good idea. Mm, don't go too far, bat. Okay. Let's see. And... Oh. Do you see the bat right there? Look, there is a bat there. Oh my god. Look at the bat. Oh, oh, oh. It saw the bat? No, it didn't saw the bat. Oh my god. Okay, this test might be not ideal. <laughs> oh, wait. How do you not see the bat? Oh, now you see the bat. Oh, there it is. Did the bat drop something? No, it didn't. Why? <laughs> oh my god. This was a fail. Okay, I know what was my mistake. Uh, we are here, and you can see there is beacons here. Here is the perimeter we're gonna mine for James Lar. And of course, anything uh, that uh, you have Jamie involved in never works first try. So blame Jamie. There you go. But this bat, this is gonna work. Where is this bat going? It's actually the hardest part is to find a bat. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna hope the waiter kills that bat. Oh my god, the night vision is running off. Uh, doesn't look like the wither found the bat. And probably. And down here, there's a bat down here. Somewhere. Where's the bat? Where did the bat go? Oh my god. Did the bat die in lava? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, blame game again. Doesn't work second try either. Okay, here's the deal. I'm tired of looking for bats in survival. I just did this bedrock cage here in creative and spawned a bunch of bats. And let's spawn the wither. And for sure it will drop it with the roses, right? Right? Ah, see? Wait, don't tell me it just drops when it explodes. I'm gonna hear it here. It's only to go there. No, oh! It's a bit one drop it. There, one drop it again. Yeah, see? Why did them drop in survival? It's definitely blame, James. Definitely. There we go. Yeah, but you, you see, it does work, okay? 
it will work okay i'm not gonna do a useless pet farm i mean it's gonna be useless anyways but it's gonna be not that useless ah let's go back to survival okay we are back here at survival and we are right next to uh, where the winter farm printer will be and i dug a hole to come here because the nether part of the farm it needs to be on the bedrock ceiling so we can spawn the wither and i think this place here will be perfect to spawn the wither uh, because this can uh, keep the wither locked in there a few moments later i think we probably will have to spawn wither every time we need to use the farm because uh, probably the wither will suffocate there and die but let's test this so if i do this and then i enclose everything should work hopefully uh yeah that didn't work Okay. Oh my god, I should uh, yeah, this is why you you do stuff in creative first. Uh, okay, so I went to a copy of my seed in uh, creative and found this place. So basically we need a place like this that has a uh, three by three of obsidian, so uh, we make sure no schools will escape right but also we need to be able to respond the wither so it needs to be quite open like this so this will be the perfect place there is only one small problem when we go to the overworld we will see but uh, yeah let's build the uh, nether part here first okay so i pretty much finished the uh, building the nether part we're gonna turn on the portal and we're gonna have it hold me here and so this way the bats can go up but not go back down hopefully and yeah i i made a five by five area instead of a three by three uh because if i place the blocks like here the wither still could uh explode it but uh this way we work fine and uh, the way we're gonna spawn the wither, it's gonna be this way. Yeah. Just place all same here in the wither schools, and this will uh, work. Okay, now here it comes the uh, small problem. The cards here, as you can see, is this one. So in the overall, it will be this. But yeah, let's see where we get in the overall. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Monka exactly inside a freaking ancient city. Can I even drink this? Yeah. The portal is right there. Uh, yeah, I think it, it will be an ocean up there, but yeah, we don't want this portal here. Oh my god. I didn't bring you all. Let's risk it and see what we have in these chests. Nothing really good. Well, these shards and fragments are good, I guess. Uh, inside here, yeah, not anything 
So good, I guess. Well, I don't know if this is lucky or unlucky. I guess it's lucky, right? We can uh, raid this ancient seat later, but now I need it to go up somehow. Oh, here it looks like there is a entrance. Maybe. Uh, well, we can always just dig up. This is a trap. There we go, we are in the ocean. So we need to find the uh, these cards here 29, 20, 14, 40. Okay, so it is exactly here. So yeah, this will work. There is a, enough ocean here. There might be a little bit of a problem if there is caves inside this mountain. Uh, but uh, the bats only spawn below sea level. And probably the caves would be waterlogged. Uh, we will see that. And apparently there is also some other structures here. And yeah, maybe we actually already... Uh, Generated these chunks before. Doesn't look like there is any those gravel here. And there is also a portal. Okay, there is not too many great loot here. Oh, and also this area is kind of close to the YB people also. I didn't show last video. Uh, where is it? Somewhere over here. There it is. Why do people also use the ocean? And just place a bunch of leaves and some black wall. <laughs> and yeah, that's the part I, I, I use to come here to the white people house. Uh, so yeah, I, I will get the overall the party they're ready and i will come back with you guys in a second okay i'm back here uh, where our farm will be and what i have done here is just two portals uh, this one is not complete so we can get inside here so these portals are underneath sea level and they are pretty tall that is the minimum uh, and 21 wide, that is uh, the maximum uh, size you can build a portal. So the idea of this farm is uh, when we close this, everything will be dark there, so the bats can spawn. And then we turn on the portals, the bats go to the nether, we turn off the portals, the bats can spawn again and so on let's just check if this actually connects is there because i did not check let's see okay we did it thing back here so yeah the idea is the bats will uh, will get here in Hopefully they will fly, fly inside there, die for the winter, and everyone is happy. Let's see if we... Well, the going back doesn't really matter too much. But we go back here. Okay, we are not obviously going to turn on and off the portals manually. We are going to use the headstone dispensers. Let me try to get all the materials here. Okay, so we will need a dispenser to turn on the portal. And then we're gonna need a dispenser to turn off the portal. Hmm. Let's see. I might want to place it 
Mm, I think here will be fine. Mm. So the idea is we're gonna turn this dispenser on. With uh, uh, that dispenser, we'll have a flint and steel. Let's place a flint and steel here. Uh, let's see, I need more space here. Okay, so that will turn on the portal. Actually, completes the portal here. And after that, we're gonna uh, destroy the portal for water bucket. But we also need it to uh, remove the water bucket. So mm, let's see what would be the easiest way to do this. Maybe if I just do this, might work. Let me do this. I'm gonna place a block here or a note block there. And another observer here. Oh, see, it already worked. But it, or maybe didn't work. <laughs> Uh, maybe I need a, a little bit more delay here, let's see. Yeah, looks like I, I need a little bit more delay. Okay, so let's do like this. Let's see. I'm gonna go here. And then go here. And here I will place a note block that I don't have on me. There we go. This should work now, right? Let's place the water bucket here. Ah, see? Now it works. We needed a little bit more delay. So yeah, basically that's it. I, I will just copy it on the other side and come back with you guys in a second. Okay, so I copied it on this side too, and now I'm gonna place these barrels here to uh, refill the dispenser that uses flint and steel. So let's just craft a bunch of flint and steel and fill all those barrels there. There we go, all the barrels are full. And yeah, I could enchant this with a breaking like this one last longer but this will last a lot and we're probably not gonna really use this farm too much right it's just for fun <laughs> but yeah now i need to figure out a way to activate this on some kind of clock i guess uh let me get my headstone stuff okay so i think this should work let's listen Did it work? Looks like it's working. Yeah, I think it's working. And we can turn it off here. There we go. I don't know if this timing is ideal. I didn't test. Uh, we will see. Uh, so now we need to go up to not load the, the caves underneath because uh, if we look at this screen here this first a here is the ambient mobs which is bats so yeah right now we have a lot of bats so we need to go up to not load the caves underneath here let me uh, just organize my inventory and then we do this okay so i made a tower here uh, with one stack of scaffolding let's see uh, remember look at this a here we need it to despawn all the bats in the caves so hopefully this will really work oh and actually also i need to already turn this on Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. 
I don't think one stack of scaffolding will be enough to spawn everything. Okay, maybe it's working. Maybe this five here is actually inside the farm. Six. Oh, means they went away, so maybe they went to the nether. Mm, there is still one somewhere. There might be some caves in the mountain there. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess we can go, we can turn off the farm now. And we can go check in the nether if there is bats there. Ouch. Way too dank. Uh, okay, so what would be a good way to, to check? I guess I, I just go to this portal because if I go to the other portal, the bats will dispawn. Okay, so let's just go here. Okay, there is lots of bats here. Yeah. Apparently it's working, let's see. There is... 14 bats here. Okay, it's not that much, but... Kinda works, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I guess... What I need to do now is... Spawn the Wither. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably what I would need to do now. Let's see how am I gonna approach this. Okay, so I'm gonna try to respawn the waiter now. Uh, it's gonna be hard with these bats here. Oh my god, it's gonna be impossible. Get out of here. There we go. And there, there, and if I place there, does it work? I hope it does. It does, okay. I can close this, and go back there. Way to think. Take this part real quick go up here maybe sleep would be a good idea and turn this on and first try get on top of this <laughs> yeah unfortunately this is kind of a afk farm which i don't like to afk uh, so yeah, like I said, they're probably not gonna use this farm too much. Uh, so let's just see. It looks like it's working. If we look at the A here, uh, why is there always one there? <laughs> I don't know. But see, it's going up, and then the part will turn on and should go down. Hopefully, there you go. Yeah, it maybe it's working. I guess I will AFK here for like uh, five minutes and then we see uh, if we got any Wither Roses there. Okay, it has been five minutes and it looks like it's working, but uh, very slow. Uh, so some things I thought is maybe I needed to do the spawning platform a little bit over there in the ocean, both to not load any caves under the mountain. But also because, oh, let's turn this off. Also because uh, maybe uh, the spawning algorithm goes all the way up there. I don't know if that works for bats too, because uh, supposedly they only spawn over or under layer 63. So shouldn't uh, there shouldn't be a reason for the spawning algorithm to go all the way up there, but... Who knows how that works, not me. Uh, okay, so now we will go to the nether, check uh, the drops, but I'm not gonna use this part of there's a wither there. I'm gonna use the YDP Pulse portal. 
Okay, we are here in the YDP policy portal. Let's go there. Oh, and there is a Wither. And yeah, the Wither is suffocating in Bedrock. Oh, there it is. Okay, looks like the Wither died. And uh, there is bats outside. How did these bats escape? Hmm. I don't know. But let's look. Oh, there we go. 26 Wither Roses in, in 5 minutes. <laughs> That's like 5 stacks per hour, which... It's very slow, it's not the best uh, literal's farm, but it kind of works. Now, how did these bats escape? And there is still a lot of bats here. They didn't despawn when I came through the other part, though. Interesting. Maybe it's the bats despawning uh, radios it is different, I don't know. But I also don't understand how they got out of the farm. Maybe those were the ones that were out the other time I opened this. Because uh, it really is looking like they don't despawn. Oh, you know, there we go. But yeah, we do get some thinking. Uh, the Wither supposedly recovers health. Uh, whenever uh, uh, it kills a bat. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I think if, even if we AFK for hours there, it should uh, still work. So, yeah, I will consider this farm a success. Let's just go back to the overall part because I want to do some decoration there. Okay, I'm back here in the overall part and I have done a decoration. And I also moved the spawning platform a little bit here. I moved the scaffolding. And... Ta -da! Ta -da -na 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 Batman. You, you get it, it's a, a bat farm. Okay. And you know what? I actually just thought that this would be an entrance to a bat cave that gets inside that ancient city. Oh my god, why every time I want to do just a small project it has to turn into a, a giant thing. No, we, we are not going to do that. Not today at least. But yeah, the, the farm is down here. Uh, there is some light sources down here to uh, prevent mobs from spawning. And I moved the lever on top of the Batman logo here. And also I, I, I did a look on Google for Batman logo pixel arts. Because yeah, I'm not creative at pixel arts, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, I'm happy with this and we can turn this on. Uh, but yeah, we don't have a Wither there right now, so I'm not gonna turn it on. Oh, and another thing I changed here is I added these magma blocks here. So we have a, a light level more than zero inside there. But the bats can still spawn at light level three or less. So this prevents from creepers and other mobs spawning, but still can spawn bats. And another thing, maybe you are asking why didn't I do this portal taller? To have more uh, room to spawn bats. Uh, the reason is the bats actually need a solid block underneath where they spawn. So doing the portal bigger wouldn't uh, actually add more uh, spawning points. What we could do is rebuild this same thing over and over again if you want a uh, farm that's more efficient, I guess. But who really needs an efficient bat farm? <laughs> but that's gonna be it for today 
I hope you guys liked this episode. And I see you guys next time. Bye.